Hello everybody and welcome to another cooking video. Now there is a video on my channel in the playlist called Cooking which is uh, which is how to make focaccia, focaccia. I'm not 100% sure how you say it but I'll wave it along just like here but also this is the recipe we're using today. Uh, any like ingredients I'll type up. I think I said I'll type them up in the last video, but I don't think I did. I feel I may have forgotten and then exported it and then remembered. Yeah, that, that seems like that would be exactly what happened. Um, it's because obviously exporting takes a while, so <laughs> if I miss something, it's just going to be missed. But yeah, this one's this video is hopefully going to be really short. I'm not going to talk for too long. Just mainly going to be time lapses. So basically, yeah, we're making for catchier today. Now, you normally I think make it with. Uh... Oh, hang on. Uh, normally just with like some onions and like nice sort of uh, sage leaves, red onion. Of course, sea salt and of course, ground pepper and oil on the top. But seeing as for my dinner today, I'm having lasagna. I'm going to make some garlic for cappuccino. Uh, <laughs> but maybe, maybe not if you can't find any garlic. Uh, pulse. Yeah. Garlic in garlic for cappuccino. Yes, this is a Kenwood. This recipe book came with the Kenwood, so it is all made specially for the Kenwood mixer. It says leave it on minimum for this long, leave it on spinniness for for so and so, and stuff like that. Nearly took us a long while. So yeah, first of all, uh, put on a time lapse, and then I'll make it. So enjoy. Okay, so next what we've got to do is adjust this to be on bread rise setting. I know you can't really read it, but that says uh, bread rise. Then we're going to time adjust it to be one hour. Here we go. Pop the lid down. That's what I'm doing. We'll start that off. And I'll do a very quick little time lapse for you. Right, 
right, so let's have a little look. Oh, that's pretty puffed up. So I'm going to put the video back onto a time lapse. Right, so now that I've managed to, uh, so I've made my garlic butter. Now, all I did for that is get two garlic cloves and a scoop of butter and just put it together in a little bowl. And now we've got lots of uh, butter and then we've got our garlic. So, hopefully, when I spread that, there'll actually be quite a bit of garlic on there. Um, I mean, I guess if you want, you could like try and squish the garlic a bit if you have something to like press down on it with. But uh, yeah, so that is the bread all done now. But I'm just very quickly putting everything away because that's what most people do. I've just put it this. So, right, I'll just grab the bread from the grooving drawer, well, like, from the cupboard, but sure. Um, wow, okay, that really did, uh, that really, <laughs> that really did work, to be fair. That is actually pretty fantastic, just there. Uh, wowzers. Goes a bit odd when you zoom in that much, but, oh dear. That's where we told you to oil it. That's fine. All right, you just got to uh, cool. Okay, sorted. That's actually looking really nice and big, actually. So yeah. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, so, just going to grab a brush, one of these just here, uh, and hopefully, this should be able to just get in here, get some garlic in here. Yeah, it's not working as well as I hoped it would. It is getting on there. Like, it's not 
very much shut your girl with me. Will you be okay? Maybe in a minute I might test some of this garlic first. Just to see if the, uh, the garlic has like infused it at all or something. Just, just a little bit. Really. Just if it has infused it. Then it means you don't have to have drunk lumps of garlic in your brain. So I think if you really want your garlic bread, you could probably make this garlic um, for capture. No, for capture. For capture. I'm not really sure if you're so sure about it. Let me know if you know. But yeah. Hopefully, this will work. But yeah, like I was saying, if, um, if anyone knows how to say it, Please write in the comments down below. Also, if you were making garlic stuff just without any recipes or anything, you could probably do it uh, with garlic in the mixture, perhaps. I'm not sure if it rises well or what, what would happen there, to be fair. But I'm sure it would be tasty. But yeah, if anyone, anybody makes this using the video, then please do join the Discord. I'll put a little link down below to my Discord so that you can join and then find me on there. My username still plays. Very easy. You can post it in other pics or DM it to me. That'd be fantastic. And then if like, I don't know, 20 people uh, send in images, perhaps I'll do a little video on my Discord server just showing off some pictures and things. So yeah, that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, now all we got to do is pop it in the oven. Ah, about the oven. Yeah, that might be easier said than done. Seeing as, well, I'll show you my oven. Whoa, where's it going? There it is. Uh, that's the oven. It's got a lasagna in. So, we're going to put the bread. We've just got to tear some paper off the edges so it doesn't have fire. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's the only problem with the gas cooker. The bacon paper catches fire. So yeah, we'll pop that in there. Hopefully that goes pretty good. It's just just down there. Got a lovely little lasagna there as well. Sorry for the shaking. Uh, right. Oh, that didn't shut. Right. So just gonna pop that on for 20 minutes. Because it says for 20 to 25 minutes, so we'll go for 20 minutes first, and then 25 after. So, yeah, this phone is on 100% because it is plugged into a battery pack. So, I'll set this on a time lapse. I mean, I know it's it's pretty trash, but yeah. Anyway. I know it's pretty rubbish, but not the best quality or anything. But yeah, put on talents anyway. Uh, enjoy, and I'll let you know how it gets on once it's finished. There it is, finished bread. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.